I moved back to Nigeria from America all because of a man. Can you imagine that? <laughs> For the most part of my high school, I was in boarding school. I graduated and at age 17, I was off to college as an international student in America. By age 21, I graduated and, you know, was talking to this one guy. And by age 23, I just woke up and saw that I was married to this guy in Nigeria. To move back to start ministry with this man, not in Lagos, not in Banana Island, not in Ikoi, but at Belkuta. At different points in my life, at different landmarks in my life, I have had to trust God. The hallmark of all the tests of faith that I've had in my whole life is agreeing to be married to my husband and moving from America to Nigeria to start ministry with my husband from ground zero. This for me is the hallmark of my faith walk with God and the most time I've had to trust God in my entire life. Trusting God does not isolate you from the problems and the troubles of life. And sometimes in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the uncertainty, in the midst of the doubt, in the midst of your current reality versus what God is showing you, sometimes you begin to sink. I sank into deep depression. It was really a deep, dark hole. And just like Peter, when he took his focus off of Jesus, I started to sink. I did, deep down into that hole of depression. But you know, some way or the other, just like Jesus was calling out to Peter, God said, stop it, stop it, laddie. And this is the word of God to somebody listening to me today, stop it. God is calling out to you to trust him. In Proverbs chapter three, five and six says to trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. If God is leading you to do something, no matter how ridiculous it sounds, you know, trust him. My name is Lade. Welcome to the month of March, 2024. Throughout the month, I'm going to be sharing with you guys lessons that I've learned in 31 years of my life. I hope that you'll join me tomorrow as I share the next lesson. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.